Hey, what's up fellow anglers? It's Aaron Lasseur and Steven Lasseur back on the truth. Today's Friday. What date is it? It's May something. 22nd. All the days kind of run together when you're on this shelter in place and your business is on hold and every day kind of feels like Friday. So we're doing, we're, we're doing the same thing. Well, sort of. Starting with coffee and donuts. That, that's our jam. If you watched the last video, and our other previous video together that's pretty much what we do i got a couple go-to places in Folsom where we can get our favorite which is the apple fritter i don't know about you but that's pretty much my favorite one and it's giant look at that thing bill's donut in granite bay is where i stop on is one of my two stops the other one's a, a donut place it's called the donut shop in Folsom another awesome place if you're a donut connoisseur like the two of us we got the lattes going and we're getting ready to go out to Lake Natomas. Now, the last time I was out there, you would have seen I did it on a stand-up paddle board, caught some pretty big fish doing some bed fishing. Oh my gosh, that's what I saw in there. Well, the bunks are going bad on the bass cat, so we're gonna go out there to do a quick, a little, uh, what do you wanna, how do you say this? Like, Jerry rig repair on it, cause we got some, he's got some new bunks coming, but the bolts are falling out, so we gotta do some sort of quick little zip tie action on them. And then we're gonna get out there on uh, Lake Natomas and see if we can put some, our eyes on some big bass. They're still gonna be out there spawning. So we're gonna try to get out there before it gets too windy this afternoon. And then you know, I also brought uh, some other baits to maybe try to catch some pre-spawners and some post-spawners. I know some of those bass are still coming up and some of them are going back down. And maybe we can catch a big one doing that instead of just trying to put our eyes on them. So, the weather's supposed to be pretty awesome today. Here's a weather report. We got a week of really hot weather coming, which maybe we'll turn the topwater bite uh, on next week. So maybe we can get out and do some delta fishing with the whopper plopper. Okay, we're almost there. We're gonna get out, fix the boat, get on the boat. We'll see you out there and we'll see what's going on. And let's see if we can put some, I'm gonna get something bigger out of six what was that 615 was the big one i just try to go for something over seven pounds today so let's see if we can do it stay tuned okay let me set the stage on this real quick we're back here at willow glen we came in on the back side of this island and there were like five fish spawning over there we were making our way around steven had a bite out here in the big flat and he had a crappy knot and it broke off but we're on the front side of this island now and there's a big spawning bed over here. We've got one, a couple of these females are five plus and we got one right here in front of us. So we're trying to work these back and forth and see if we can't get some of these fish to go. It's a little bit too windy. So we're kind of having to barely see them and blind cast. And so right now we're trying to work one of these two. So we're gonna try to see if we can get one of them in the boat. That's not the eight pounder we're looking for, but they're still big enough to stop and see if we can snag one real quick. All right, stay tuned. I see her. She's looking at it. Yeah, she's, we can get her. We think we gotta get her a break. There she is. I'm right on her. It's 12 o'clock right there. Oh, I got the little on. guy. The little guy. I didn't even try to get him. <laughs> no. That's funny. I didn't try to get the little guy. I just tried to get it out of there fast and he had it in his mouth. Dang it, I caught the little male. We're not trying to get the male. He's, he's aggressive, but the bigger female. Ah, oh, little guy. Little dude, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, got one. Got one. <laughs> Got one, I got one, I got one. Just throwing my drop shot around. Woo, he's fighting. My hand's in front of the camera. I hate when I do that. He's fighting good, he's fighting good. We're just kind of, we're back here by the big cove by the freeway looking for some spawners. We just saw one. Uh, let me get this guy. Got him. Little guy, though, a little guy. We're just kind of blind casting around and trying to find these beds. And we're coming up onto the one where I lost that six pounder a couple weeks ago. But this guy just picked up the drop shot, just throwing it in the weed beds out there. Yeah, one pounder, still fun. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, wind. Die down just for a little bit so we can see what's going on right here. I saw a big one like right in through here. Oh, I just got bit. Got one. There you go. And there's one right underneath that's big. Yeah, it's a big one right underneath us. This one feels pretty decent. Oh no, it's a two pounder. This other one's following it though. Yeah. It's a big one, it's following it. Look at he wants to eat whatever it's eating, but throw your Senko in there. Follow up bait, dude. Seriously, don't eat a Senko if you throw it in there, right on top of it. Oh, I got a little one. Hey, 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 hey. Woohoo! All right, status update. We're on the other side of the lake. We're over there by that cove searching. We're on this big long stretch. I got a little male. What we're doing is we're, we're searching around for beds, blind casting. I got a drop shot with a little Damiki swim bait on here. We're blind casting, waiting for the wind to die down before we keep moving so we can see if there's any big ones underneath this. We've seen already seen a couple beds over here. And uh, we're hoping to pick off some big ones out of these weed beds. So far, I just thought that's the first one. It's another little male. So we've got a long ways to go and lots of great places to fish along the stretch. And we're hoping we run into a big one. We'll let you know. All right, check in with you soon. I thought we'd catch more out here in these weeds. How is it still oh, it's right underneath us? How is it? That's a fish. Yeah. Oh, it's way out there. <laughs> we're on the two pounders. We're still doing the same thing where I'm just we're just blind casting, looking for beds. The wind, the wind's not dying down as much as we'd like. So it's really tough to see any of these fish, but it's the second one just blind casting into those weeds out there. So it's pretty fun. We're still catching them. Oh, and this is the, probably one of the better ones we've caught so far. Absolutely. Two pounds. All right. Another one. But man, we're looking for the big, the big bites. All right, we're gonna keep trying. Throwing this uh this is what I got today. I, sw I switched it out from the Damiki Stinger because I wanted something with a little more of a fish profile since I'm throwing um, those swim baits to try to get those fish mad on their beds. And this one's got a good little kick to it. I mean, it looks really like a fish. And I threw some chartreuse on the tail. Quarter ounce drop shot weight, about a 12 to 14 uh, inch leader on it. Damiki Viper hook. It's basically the same rod setup as I had um, the last time I was out here with the Damiki Stinger. I just have a different bait so we're gonna keep searching because we're still catching them come on where's the big ones okay so we're all we're still over here on that same side i want to show you what these beds look like it's a little bit windy but you'll still be able to pick it up so what you're looking for is these beds it's kind of like this light brown over here on all these rocks every bed we've seen is dark so i've got one right here there's a fish on it the wind's blowing pretty hard now it wasn't but you can still see the circle of where the, the bed is and there's actually fish right on the center of it right now that's only in like a foot and a half of water but that when you're out here looking for these beds on this side you're going to look for everything that's got a big dark circle on it and that's every we've size seen about four and they all are ex exactly the same we're gonna keep looking we haven't found a big one yet though all right fellow anglers we're heading back in it's so windy out here now. The, the, weather, the weather report said four miles to 14 miles an hour. And, and it said as it got later in the day, the wind was gonna pick up and it pretty much made it impossible to, to see any of these fish on beds. We went back to Willow Glen, see if we couldn't try to put those other two, maybe get them to go. And I had one kind of aggressive, but it just the wind was pushing the boat all over. You know, if you really wanna be effective and try to fish bed fish you got to have a way to anchor yourself somehow even if the wind's not blowing just to kind of stay on the spot because you if you got power poles or a little anchor or some way just to keep yourself locked on it just makes it that so much easier and less frustrating i got a little anchor now for the uh, paddle board so when i do some paddle board fishing next week i'll have a way to anchor myself on on specific spots so that'll be nice we ended up just catching a few fish and they were all probably pretty much fry garters. And all the damage came on this little guy right here, which is the Damiki Anchovy Chad, Chad, Anchovy Shad. 
And this is just kind of like a watermelon, watermelon, uh, what do they call that glitter in there? <sighs> watermelon prism or something like that. I don't know the exact color. Doesn't really matter. It mimics a bluegill. I put some chartreuse on the tail. It's four inch on the drop shot. And we were just blind casting and some of those fry garters were just kind of popping it and hitting it. So we saw some big ones kind of cruising around, but nothing locked on a bed. I'm gonna to try to get back out here and uh, hit a different lake next week if it works out and try to go for some big smallies on the paddle board. So all in all, still fun. We're, we've been out here for, let's see, we got here like at nine-ish. It's almost three. It's a lot of hours today for just a few bites. So anyway, still fun, caught a few fish. You got some locations and, and can and now know what those beds look like when you come out here on your own. Still that one stretch on the west side of the lake on that big flat has probably the most bass in one consolidated area. So I'm gonna get back out. Stay tuned for some more fishing, some more content. We were talking about some hot weather coming. We'll probably get on the bass cat and we wanna get the whopper ploppers back out on the Delta. That's coming for sure. Well, one raw day, nothing else. Whopper ploppers and that's it. So anyways, good times. We'll see you again. I'm Aaron Lesseur. This is the truth. Stay focused, fish hard, and I'll see you out on the water.